guess at what time he wants them? Ben already did. 6.32. I say 6.35. Um, okay. We're going to call this regular monthly meeting to order for the Scarborough Sanitary District. It is Wednesday, Thursday, October 24th, 2024. Um, call to order. Roll call. Uh, ben McDougall. Here. Jason Greenleaf. Here. Uh, Ruth Summers. Here. Mike Stein. Here. Anthony D'Amelio. Here. Uh, I'm Nick Rico, and I'm here, too. So our first approval will be of the minutes from last regular monthly meeting. I'll entertain a motion. Move approval. Thank you, Jason. Second. Second from Tony. All right. Um, any comments or corrections? Barring none, all in favor? One, two, no. one abstention. No. Who abstained? Who abstained? I think Ben did, right? Oh, you did. I didn't abstain. Oh. No, Ben, ben did. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Cool. All right. Superintendent's report. You're up. All right. Um, a copy of the monthly report of operations for the month of September is included in your packet. Our average effluent flow for the month was 1.28 million gallons per day. Our effluent quality was well within our permitted limits. We averaged 97 uh, BOD removal and 98% TSS removal for concentrations of 9 and 4 milligrams per liter, respectively. Copy of the pump station flows for the month of September is included in your packet. No issues were noted. I received um, I received three inquiries regarding the notice of intent to file uh, for the renewal of our effluent permit. Two individuals came to the plant and met with me, upon which I followed up with a tour. Uh, the third was via email. All were grateful for what we do and had no issues with the, the renewal. Our permit renewal application has been submitted. Copies are available on our website as well as at the DEP Augusta office and in a town hall right here and um, also at the sanitary di district's offices. So TBUC submitted their first payment application for pump station number one. The amount due was $343,496. Dollars and eighty cents. This is application is for stored materials that are stored off-site at their yard and all stored within inside a, a building. Uh, the generators we budgeted for replacement at pump station number five, which is Willowdale Road, and uh, number twenty-three, which is Highgus Parkway, have been delivered. Uh, staff will install these generators within the next few months. So, uh, Scott Kern uh, passed the DMR QA44 laboratory certification for all parameters, including BOD, TSS, pH, total residual chlorine, fecal coliform, and I just lost my, my place. There we go. And settable solids. Um, I did execute a four-year contract for the wastewater treatment facility starting January 1st uh, with regards to the electrical uh, uh, purchasing. Uh, the cost of coming came in at $0 uh, dollars per kilowatt hour. Our current rate is $0.15 uh, per kilowatt hour. So this should result in approximately a $70,000 annual savings. Uh, we, are con uh, we conducted our annual CCTV sewer inspection. Um, this year we concentrated the, uh, the inspection in the Old Neck area. Uh, we found several manholes that were buried in people's yards. That, uh, several manholes that were buried in people's yards that we have to raise to grade. And we also found a few manholes that the brickwork needs to be redone. Uh, the pipes all looked in good condition. Uh, typically, we budget for approximately 10,000 linear feet of gravity sewer inspection per year, and then uh, we use the inspection results uh, to identify any issues that we then schedule for uh, mediation. 
Uh, yesterday, actually, we had a DEP inspection. Um, I was unable to attend that because I was on uh, at, at another site. Uh, DEP uh, went around the facility with both uh, Riley and Scott Karen, and um, from all reports, uh, the inspection went very, very well. Uh, I was off-site at the pump stations with uh, an engineering firm that's, uh, that's working for the town conducting a uh, vulnerability analysis re with regards to uh, sea level rise. And so I, I uh, uh, visited, I think, 17 pump stations with them. So, and that report will be forthcoming. And that's all I have with regards to the superintendent's report. Any questions for oh, any questions for the superintendent? Okay, moving on. Correspondence. Uh, attached is Underwood's recommendation to award the dewatering contract to Apex Construction. You guys have already voted on this and gave me that authorization once uh, the review came through, but I did want to provide you with, with that documentation. Any questions for the superintendent on that? Um, could you remind us how much the engineer's estimate was, please? Uh, I think I had that in last year's, last month's minutes. Oh, you probably did. Uh, three bids. The engineer's estimate was 2.6 million, and Apex bid came in at 2.23 million. Excellent. Thank you. All right. No old business, new business. It was Barrett Clearview Condominium Association. All right. Um, this is on the corner of Portland Farms Road and Eastern Road. Uh, we have an easement through that property, um, once known as Riz Bear Clearview Condominium Association. The original easement was given to the town for a sewer easement back in 1962. In the 80s, we actually moved the sewer out of the easement into uh, the road and, uh, um, and abandoned that sewer. Um, in 2017, the association actually approached us to see if we were willing to give up our easement and the the Sanitary District Board at the time unanimously did vote to abandon the easement, but at the time the town wanted to retain it until ultimate, but ultimately nothing was changed. Uh, fast forwarding to today, it appears there are a couple manholes in the easement that were just backfilled. A sinkhole regularly develops in uh, the grassy area by the road in the area, in the area that I believe is where one of the manholes are. Um, I would actually, I'd like to expose the manhole and fill the base with concrete and then uh, backfill it. And I recommend authorizing the superintendent to uh, conduct this work and, um, and uh, just resolve that issue. I'll entertain a motion to authorize the superintendent to do the work. So moved. Thank you, Second. Jason. Second. Thank you, Tony. Any questions? I do. Go ahead, Mike. I do have one question. Do we do any maintenance there, well, such as do we mow it like once or twice a year or nothing? Nothing. Okay. It, they, it, it, the, there's the two manholes. There's one in their lawn area that has uh, – that's where the sinkhole is. And then there's one in a – kind of a wooded overgrown area closest to the road, but we don't do any maintenance in that, that area at all. Okay. Uh, this, this is brought up uh, again, um, you, you know, with regards to the easement, whether it, it will get, whether the town wants to retain it or not, or even has a right to, to the easement. So uh, where the board has already voted to disband it. I don't know. So. That might move forward, and I'll keep you abreast. Go ahead, Ben. Should should we take action to abandon it so that we're just done with it for the future? I see no use in maintaining that easement, and um, I actually have reached out to the the town through Angela and asked if you know the 
town is still interested in this easement. If they are, I suggest that maybe we move forward and just transferring it back to the town and, and just we sever our ties to it. That's a good idea. Seems like that would make sense. Uh, yes, it does make sense that way. All right, any other questions? Barring none, all in favor? None opposed, thank you. Budget summary. Um, the nine month budget summary is included in your packet and I recommend approval. Motion to approve. Thank you, Ben. Second. Thank you, Jason. Any questions? All right, none, all in favor? None opposed. Public comments, any? Okay, trustee comments. Um, we'll start with Ben. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Scott Karen on passing, uh, passing those certifications. That's, that's great to hear. And I look forward to the employee appreciation in two weeks. Yeah, they, that they, uh, they deserve it. That's Scott's first uh, rodeo at this test because Ken has, has retired and he's taken over that lab position. So that's a um, big step. That's great. Tony. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, the transition uh, from old to new with, uh, you know, some new young people come in, it's going to be great. And uh, kind of look forward to it. Awesome. Thank you. Mike? Um, again, congratulations to uh, Scott and also uh, nice job with the electrical bids coming in almost 50% uh, less. <coughs> Thank you. Bruce? I usually listen to what he says. Um, congratulations to everyone. Welcome back, Serena. So glad you're back and the baby's healthy. Um, but good work to everybody out there. Jason. Uh, same comments, congrats to Scott on becoming the new Ken. I'm sure he'll appreciate that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll no. let you tell him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't be there in the morning, so you can pass that on. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's great to see that we have, you know, the flexibility to move people into new roles, and they're willing to take it on. It's a great uh, testament to our staff. Um, also wanted to send a thanks out to Sean and Rudy, especially, and anybody else that may have been involved with uh, declogging, declogging the sewer outside of my house recently, which uh, was in the street. It wasn't on my private service, but it was much appreciated. Great job by all. Thanks. All right. Thank you, folks. Um, I'll echo my trustee comments. Congratulations, Scott. Nicely done. Uh, thanks, Rudy and <clears throat> Sean, for doing your thing there uh, in front of Jay's house. And I also encourage everyone to go out and vote. Um, with that, I'll entertain the last motion of the evening. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Jason. Second. Thank you, Ben. All in favor? We're done. <laughs>